Hello and welcome, welcome to another episode of Swiss Bites with me, Mark, and the man to my left, as ever, Mr. Julian here. Now, it's a very special episode today. It's the last episode of Series 5. So, uh, uh, for some reason, we always do something that's a bit tame for the, um, the last episode of a series. Not this time. We're doing possibly the worst thing that we've ever eaten. Yes, um, i got some uh, info here. So, yes, uh, we're eating ragworm and lugworm. So I don't know if you can see them in this bowl here, wriggling around. Just, uh, uh, one of our Facebook followers, Nigel, uh, he suggested that we eat um, ragworm and lugworm, so we jumped at the chance. And, oh, wait, uh, you jumped at the chance, I did. Yeah, I thought, it, I thought it would make good viewing, but uh, having looking at them now, oh, I'm not so sure. Um, but uh, yeah, let me, let me give you some close-ups of uh, just to see what we're chowing down on today, I will. Okay, so there they are in the in the bowl. Now there's a really big wriggly one that um, that uh, sort of looks really scary. He's the ragworm, and then the rest of them are a lugworm. Um, time for some extreme close-ups. Extreme. Extreme close-up! So I get carried away with the extreme close-ups these days. This is the guy that I'm talking about. He's like an eel. He is like an eel. Eel! Eel! This is the big... You can see him wriggling around. Um, so yeah. That is our... That is our meal for today. Now, we only... Um, we only eat uh, proper foods here at Swiss Spice. I mean, we get people suggesting that we eat dog food and stuff like that all the time. We've got to eat proper food. It's got to be a food that is eaten in a part of the world that humans eat, so we won't eat dog food. But, um, so we discovered that in Vietnam, they actually eat ragworm and lugworm. It's part of their diet. They make these sort of patties with it. So that is the recipe that we'll be following today. Um, okay, before you meet me in the kitchen, see how I caught the ragworm and lugworm.
Okay, so I'm back from the uh, kitchen. I've cooked up the omelette, as you've seen. Um, I mean, you know it's a bad one when Blue Elephant has his uh, red bucket. That signifies extreme bad food. So, uh, yeah, that's not great. I do feel a little bit guilty feeding my friend here Augustus Gloop. Augustus bloody Gloop! <laughs> but he, he oh, reassures me that he will be back to Series 4 weight for Series 6. So that's something to look forward to. Augustus okay. bloody Gloop. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so here is the um, the omelette. It looks a bit green. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look that bad to me. It smells all right. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem too wormy. I mean, I can't see worms in it. So maybe it won't kill us. There is a possibility. Um, so I'll chop this in half. I give you the big half. Me the big half. No, I'm joking. Um, we need all this bit of white on here. You give the big half. Mr. Julian's uh, omelette today. Here you go, sir. Look at that. It's all right, isn't it? Not yet. Oh, I thought. What's that keen? Stop. What's that keen to stop? Don't go yet. <laughs> that bloody keen. No cheating. What do you mean no cheat? Eating is cheating. We've got to start at the same time. It smells nice. Honestly, it smells nice. Maybe you know what it is. So, here is uh, my my half. Don't look that bad. Mr. Julian, can you just show the people at home? Extreme close up of your omelette. I like saying that, I don't know why. Yeah, it's a fascination, isn't it? Extra. Yeah, okay. There you go. Right. Nothing more to say, really, is there? Who's going first? You. Really? You're the eating king. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> the idea of it is terrible. It looks like mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. It's no, there's no mushrooms. I love it. it looks but it's like not it. mushrooms. I right? love mushrooms. So don't use the mushroom excuse. <laughs> and it's worms instead. Go on, Mark. It's fine. Is it? Yeah. Go for it. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. What's the taste of it? I just want to eat it. You should be rushing, Mark. Enjoy your food. That's the idea of the channel. I can't I mean, enjoy this. The idea of it is just too disgusting. I can't enjoy it. You can't. It tastes nice. I can't enjoy this. I don't want to. I don't want to feel any worms. I mean, I've got a bit of grit then. It tastes really nice, but um, get, go on. I was a keen issue. I have to lose weight, as you said, so I can miss out on this one. I tell you, it tastes nice. Yeah, but it's, 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 oh my Jesus, that is. I'm not looking at it. Just it? eat. <laughs> I can see the worm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. A bit gritty. A bit gritty. <laughs> There's some sand in it. Oh man. Oh, that doesn't taste bad, does it? Oh, but look. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't taste What's bad. One? Yeah, it's a worm. Yeah, it's a worm. That taste. That could be an onion. No, there's onion. <laughs> That's a worm. <laughs> that is a worm. Yeah, I've got it. I've got to show people at home now. That's funny. Just put me off. Where's the worm? There. Oh, that, I've got that, the onion. That guy's sticking out. Is oh. is the worm? Yeah. Come on, just down it. That's put me off. Down, yeah, well, it's hardly that appetising, but as I've said before, uh, Asia, they're massive fans of eating sea worms. Um, Vietnam, China, all of those places, apparently they, they like eating sea worms, so, you know. Oh wow! Get out of it. <laughs> Not that king. The worst thing is it's gritty. 
You really loved that, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, we had bad stomachs from the crunchy critters last night, so God knows what this is going to do. I think my stomach's hurting already. Is yours? No. Nope. Feels bad. Really? Okay, so um, to sum up, I mean, did that actually taste that bad? No, it didn't taste that bad. Tasted quite nice. Well, I saw the worm sticking out the bottom of it. The worm sticking out is not great. Right. I mean, I don't know what the worms actually added to that dish because all I could taste was omelette with onions and with dill and with uh, orange peel. Don't uh, forget the grit. Mandarin peel. Yeah, but no, I mean, that's what I'm saying. The, the worms didn't add any flavour. You couldn't really taste them, no. but they were, there was quite a lot of grit in them. And I did, I did purge them in their little, their little tank with uh, seawater for a long time, so they must have held on to some of the sand. So that was bad. But it's just, like Mr. Julian said, it's the, the idea of just... I mean, after I cut, cut them up in there, you should, you should see the footage of them being cut up. It's oh, just cool. brutal. Um, and then having to eat them after that, that's cool. not great. So, but I do believe... Nigel, that is challenge complete. Uh, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> yeah. Keep them coming, he says. Yeah, but not not uh, you oh, know. Well, there you go. Uh, not not too horrendous. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. The end of another series. It's a highly emotional moment, totally most. Um, but we'll be back in the summer to do another series. So keep your suggestions coming in because we really appreciate them. Um, and if you enjoyed the episode today, oh, oh me. Is, uh, the windy. If you can. Fight through the windy pops. If you enjoyed the episode today, please, oh. please give us some thumbs <laughs> up. Please, that would be great. Um, also, if you uh, if you're not a follower of the channel already, please subscribe because we really do appreciate your support and all your comments, etc., etc. And if you'd like to suggest anything weird and wonderful from around the world for us to eat for your visual enjo uh, visual entertainment uh, and enjoyment. Leave them in the comment section of either YouTube and Facebook. And I do mention Facebook because we're on social media as well. We're on Facebook, which is Swiss Bites One. We're on Instagram, which is Swiss underscore Bites, and we are on Twitter now, which is Bites Swiss. So join us there. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot. See you later.